boys and girls, this is Miss Stephanie. Welcome today to what I am calling Summer Cooking Club. And I love the first choice. I've chosen fruit pizza. Boys and girls, you can choose any fruit you want, okay? I have strawberry and blueberry. You can do cantaloupe, you can do pineapple, mandarin oranges, banana, but we like strawberry and blueberry, and it's a summer fruit. Okay, here are our ingredients to get started. Simple, easy, sugar cookie dough from the grocery store in a roll, all right? We got our pizza pan, all right? We have a block, eight ounce cream cheese. Have my sugar jar, one third cup of sugar. I have my vanilla, one half teaspoon vanilla. And then later on, when we get there, we will be putting this with a mixer, all right? And of course, cutting board later to cut your fruit. Those are the things you need, boys and girls, but let's get started. As I shift these things over for later, and my recipe, very carefully, a sharp knife. It is important to use a sharp knife, boys and girls, and get some help with your friendly mom, dad, caregiver, grandma, grandpa, whoever, and just push the cookie dough out of its little plastic folder. You know what, boys and girls? I forgot to tell you something very, very important, and I already did it. Wash your hands. You know to do this. Wash your hands. Okay, let's continue. Cookie dough all out in your pizza pan, okay? Make sure you grease your pizza pan. That would be a smart thing to do so it comes out nice and pretty at the end when we're done. I'm gonna toss this in my sink trash for now and we are just going to press this down. I will just kind of like maybe push it in half and I'll just start pressing this down and what we're gonna do with our fingers is we are just gonna, and I'm kind of spinning as I go, boys and girls, it's gonna look sloppy a little bit. It's gonna get lumpy. It's gonna look funny. Funny's okay, because we're gonna eat it. It's gonna be covered with that yummy, yummy sugar goodness with cream cheese, and then on top of that is the fruit. So no worries. It does not have to look perfect at all, because I am not a perfect cook here with my cookie. Dough. but you just got to keep pressing it out getting that roundness that you need for the base okay kind of go to the ends I'm still pressing moving it out moving it out okay and I'm kind of twisting my pan kind of spinning it like I had said whoops okay a little bit on my finger let's Bring it around here. Getting it off of the edge a little bit because it will brown and crisp and get bigger. Let's keep spinning it and working it. Okay, it's close to the edge, boys and girls. We're getting there. A little bit thicker here, but that's okay. Okay, pretty good, I think. We're gonna bake this at 350. I just saw a big fat spot and I'm just gonna work it over here. Just a little bit here. No holes. We don't want any holes. Okay, pretty good, sorta of, kinda of round with the pizza. Um, 350 in your oven for 18 to 20 minutes boys and girls okay so it's already preheated so we're gonna stick this in the oven we're gonna set my timer to whoops look at my dirty fingers hitting the microwave 18 minutes as a timer and we're gonna come back and finish up our fruit pizza hi boys and girls welcome back to fruit pizza I am turning my oven off Double check yours because I checked mine just a minute ago 
and it was the 18 minutes. I needed about two more, three more maybe. So just check yours. Every oven is different. I'm getting it out. Have a parent or a guardian help you get it out. It will be hot and we're gonna let it cool. It looks great. Here, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me get another hot pad out. Let me show you how the edges did come to the ends and it just looks like a gorgeous sugar cookie ready to be eaten soon. Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna move on to what I call the frosting part. So as the cookie cools, we are gonna work on the frosting part. Electric, um, this little um, gadget here, electric mixer, and my little pokies here go in. I don't know, beaters, I guess, is what you call them. So we have softened our cream cheese. So let's go ahead, open it, and flop that block of cream cheese right in. My trash, for now, goes in the sink. It's just quick and easy. Here's my sugar. My sugar is one third cup. So I have a little scooper here that's gonna help me measure my sugar out. And I'm gonna show you a little trick here, boys and girls, in just one second. Go ahead, when you're done with your sugar, a good way to measure it, go ahead and table knife, okay? And just run that table knife right across. See how I'm not over here, I'm still in my sugar. Run it straight across and it is ready to go. One third sugar with my knife, one third sugar. Now I'm gonna move my sugar over and my vanilla. We're gonna measure the vanilla. Boys and girls, on my recipe card, it said one half teaspoon vanilla. A little T represents teaspoon. If you see a capital T, that means tablespoon. But we are using a little T, teaspoon. One half teaspoon vanilla. Now we're gonna move that to the side because we're done. All right, so now we're gonna blend together with our mixer. We're gonna blend cream cheese, one third sugar, one half teaspoon vanilla. And it's going to be a little loud. It's gonna get fluffy. Just move your bowl around. Move your beaters around. Nice and fluffy. Okay. We're good. Shake your yummy cream cheese frosting off your beaters and pop them out. Sometimes it's a little harder. I'm going to take both of them here real quick. Sometimes it's a little harder and I'm going to lick because it's good. I'm going to lick both because it's good. Okay, wash that later. Okay, so now I am going to set this aside, boys and girls. Look over at our cookie. It's still cooling. So we're going to set this frosting aside. We're going to move right over here to your choices of fruit. Cantaloupe pineapple, blueberry, banana. What's your family's favorite? Right now, my family's summer favorite is strawberries and blueberries. I already have rinsed in my colanders my blueberries and strawberries. I've already cut quite a few boys and girls. Let's take your knife with a parent or guardian help and let's take our, our um, already rinsed fruit, okay? And let's use our cutting board, all right? And let's cut off these green stems. Just go straight across, all right? What I do, I have a big strawberry here, boys and girls. So I am gonna cut it right in half. I cut it right in half, all right? I'm gonna then start slicing little tiny slices, all right? Keeping your fingers back. Taking the knife and going down, straight down, all right? There's a little piece here I don't wanna use. Pop it in my mouth. In the bowl it goes. It's always fun to have a little bit of a taste of what you're doing. All right, I'm gonna 
set that aside. So here's our strawberries. I'm going to I'm going to cut one more. Get that green stem off. Bring it all the way down. All right. Cut it in half. Straight down, boys and girls. A nice sharp knife, okay? Set those aside. Turn it around. Straight down. Nice skinny. It doesn't matter if some are thick and some are half broken. We're going to eat it, boys and girls. I mean, we do want it to be pretty, but I have plenty of strawberries, so I'm just going to scoop my colander over. Now I have blueberries, but guess what? I don't need to cut my blueberries. They're perfect. They're great. They're easy. So we are ready to frost our pizza and then decorate with our fruit in just one minute, boys and girls, as we let it cool for about 10 more minutes. Hi, my cooking friends. Welcome back to Fruit Pizza. And I have my cookie right here in front of me. I can touch it now. It is not hot. The pan is not hot. I can place my hands down and do not feel the heat. My clean hands, boys and girls, are completely clean and ready to go with our third area in the cooking program here. And that is using a spatula. Is works good for me. And we are gonna take this frosting that we blended together and we are just going to get all of that ooey gooey wonderness right on the cookie. Ooey gooey wonderfulness. And a spatula just works to get everything out. Look at that, it's like really clean. Now I'm gonna drop it over in my sink. Oh yeah, boys and girls, pay attention. While we were getting things ready and took a little break as the cookie was cooling, I cleaned up my dishes that we used. Boys and girls, that'd be awesome to help grandma and grandpa, mom and dad out in the kitchen, is while you're in the kitchen, just kind of clean as you go. That would be wonderful. I'm kind of taking my frosting here and I'm kind of spinning it just real gently, little bit, getting it up on the edges. Don't have to be perfect. Some can be a little thicker than other areas, that's fine. Just bring it to the edge, just kind of bring it right to that cookie edge. You can see that on the camera there. Yours looks great at home, I know it does. And we're just gonna layer them up with some fruit here in just a minute. So it's gonna be covered anyway, this frosting part. It's just the ooey gooey, yummy, wonderful taste that it is. All right, mine looks good and ready to go and I'm gonna Take a bite, and it's good. The frosting's good. So here is the cream cheese, sugar, frosting over our cookie. Now we're gonna take the fruit. You chose the fruit. Yours might be pineapple. Yours might be bananas. Yours might be strawberries. My cuts are looking funny. That's okay. Are your cuts perfect? Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Maybe they're thin, maybe they're thick. My fruit definitely has all different looks to it as I was cutting, and that's okay. Presentation is fun, and I'm making a circle around mine here, and as you can tell, mine are not perfect. I'm angling and just pushing them over each other, making room for more. My cuts are different. It looks different, and that's okay because we're gonna enjoy eating it very soon. Now I'm gonna take some blueberries and I'm gonna put some blueberries all over. Okay, and then I'm gonna spread those out a little bit. That's how I'm gonna do it, boys and girls. And I'm gonna think, hey, I have more strawberries. Let's make another strawberry layer around. That's what I'm gonna do. You do it any way you want with your bananas, your raspberries, I never mentioned raspberry. My husband likes raspberries. Blueberries, cantaloupe, pineapple, mandarin oranges, all kinds of good yumminess going on here. All right, I'm about ready to be done with my strawberries. One more, one more small one right there. 
All right, then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna add a few more because I like blueberries. And we can do that because my colander is still full of blueberries. All right, I'm tapping it down a little bit, just kind of pressing the fruit down a little bit. There you go, boys and girls, fruit pizza. Strawberry, blueberry, fruit pizza. I forgot to get one thing out of my drawer. Actually, two things I forgot. I forgot to get the pizza cutter, like a pizza with pepperoni, but we have strawberries and blueberries, and then a server. So these two things you do need, a pizza cutter and a server. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut our pizza in half, as best half as you can. I'm not perfect with my half, boys and girls. This looks a lot thicker than that side. That's okay. I'm gonna cut it in half again. All right, so spin that around, cut some good cuts. All right, I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna take, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna cut my slice. That's what I wanted to do and then use my server. So I have a skinny little slice here, getting it ready. Okay, now I have my server and it's gonna just pop right out. Look at that, boys and girls. Fruit pizza. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time as we share more delicious summer fun on summer cooking. Thank you.